Hey everybody, I've got another question. Does God care which day we keep holy? Welcome to The Lamp, illuminating your way with the light of God's Word. If you want to clearly understand what the Bible says about your life, don't miss an episode. Click the subscribe button now to keep updated and ring the bell so you don't miss out on anything. So let's get into it. Does God care which day we keep holy? This is the last video in a seven part series on the law of God, especially focusing on the Sabbath because most people don't have a problem with thou shalt not kill. Nobody wants to change thou shalt not steal or thou shalt not commit adultery. But when it comes to the Sabbath, it seems that there's a lot of different ideas about it. If you haven't yet, I recommend you checking out my other videos in this series, such as Are the Ten Commandments Still Relevant Today? Is Obedience Legalism? What is the Purpose of the Sabbath? And Why Don't We Worship on Saturday? I covered in another video, Is the Sabbath Still Relevant Today? That the Sabbath was made for man and not man for the Sabbath. It was made for mankind in the Garden of Eden before there was a Jew. So let's look at the command for the Sabbath that God wrote with his own finger on tables of stone in Exodus chapter 20, verses 8 through 11. This is God speaking to us. He says, Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord your God. In it you shall not do any work. You, nor your son, nor your daughter, nor your male servant, nor your female servant, nor your cattle, nor your stranger who is within your gates. So this is a pretty specific commandment, isn't it? It tells us when, it tells us who, it tells us whose Sabbath it is, and in it God tells us why to keep the Sabbath. For in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, the sea, and all that is in them, and rested the seventh day. Therefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. So here's what God did on this day. He rested, he blessed it, and he sanctified it. And why does he tell us to remember the Sabbath day? Because it's the day that has memorialized his creation. He is Lord, he is boss, he is ruler. He made us, we are his people and the sheep of his pastures. We are not our own, we're bought with a price. And the Sabbath day, the seventh day Sabbath, commemorates God's creative power, God's lordship in our lives. In Revelation chapter 14, we read about three angels that shout out a last day message for the whole world. And the message begins that this is the everlasting gospel. This is the good news. What is this good news? The first angel cries aloud and says, Fear God and give glory to him for the hour of his judgment has come and worship him who made heaven and earth, the sea and the springs of water. If you read Revelation, you see clearly that there's a battle and that battle is about worship. You're gonna worship the beast or you're gonna worship God? You're gonna worship the creator or you're gonna worship the created? But check something else out here too. In this verse, we see that we worship him because he made the heavens, the earth, and the sea, and the springs of water. This is just taken straight out of the fourth commandment. For in six days the Lord God made the heavens, and the earth, the sea, and all that is within them. Is it important to God which day we keep holy? He's told us here to keep holy the seventh day because it's a memorial of his creation, because he created on that day. Plus, there's a blessing in the Sabbath. It's not just for the Jews. God made sure to point out to the Jews that this was for everybody and explain it to them. In Isaiah 56, 3 through 5, he says this, Do not let the son of the foreigner who has joined himself to the Lord speak, saying, The Lord has utterly separated me from his people. Nor let the eunuch say, Here I am, a dry tree. For thus says the Lord, to the eunuchs who keep my Sabbaths and choose what pleases me and hold fast my covenant. 
Even to them I will give in my house and within my walls a place and a name better than that of sons and daughters. I will give them an everlasting name that shall not be cut off. Notice here that this promise is for everybody, even the foreigner, the one who's not a Jew. Notice also that God calls the Sabbath, my Sabbath. This comes to the idea of which day is the Lord's day. The Lord's day is the Sabbath day. That's his day. Jesus said, the Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. I haven't come across a whole lot of people that argue that Sunday is the Sabbath. Rather that Sunday is the Lord's day, the seventh day is the Sabbath, the first day is the Lord's day. We worship on the Lord's day, not the Sabbath anymore. But who has chosen the Sabbath? as the day to keep holy, man or God? God has. Who has chosen to keep holy Sunday instead of the Sabbath? Man or God? Man has. Listen to what God says in Ezekiel. He says, Moreover, I also gave them my Sabbaths to be a sign between them and me that they might know that I am the Lord who sanctifies them. Does God care which day we keep holy? There is only one day of the week that God has called holy, and he calls it my Sabbath. I think the big question we need to ask ourselves is, are we going to follow the commandments of God or the commandments of men? I've shared these kind of quotes before, but here's one, just a little blurb. This is from Father T. Enright. Now he's a Catholic making an argument for the authority of the Catholic Church and its power to change God's laws. And he speaks so truthfully. The Bible says, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy, and that the seventh day is the Sabbath. But the Catholic Church says, no, keep the first day of the week and the whole world bows in obedience. Friends, he understands, and I hope you understand, the seventh day is the Sabbath. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. It's interesting to me that the one commandment God says to remember is the one that many people have forgotten. Really, this is rubber meets the road Christianity. This is, am I going to do what I choose to do? Or am I going to do what God says to do, even if it sounds ludicrous, even if I don't understand it, even if it makes me uncomfortable, even if I lose friends over it, even if I lose sleep over it, am I going to obey and do what he says no matter what? Plus, there's a real blessing in the Sabbath. Listen to what God says in Isaiah about his holy day. If you turn away your foot from the Sabbath, from doing your pleasure on my holy day, and call the Sabbath a delight, the holy day of the Lord, honorable, and shall honor him, not doing your own ways, nor finding your own pleasure, nor speaking your own words, then you shall delight yourself in the Lord, and I will cause you to ride on the high hills of the earth, and feed you with the heritage of Jacob your father. The mouth of the Lord has spoken. What a gift! I want blessings like that, don't you? But, sadly, many people don't receive that blessing because they don't keep holy God's day. And according to Jesus, that's very dangerous. Listen to what Jesus says in Matthew 5.19. Whoever therefore breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches men so shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever does and teaches them, he shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. And then later in Matthew 15, Jesus warns that there are people who draw near to him with their mouths and honor him with their lips, but their hearts are far from him. He says, in vain they worship me, teaching as doctrines the commandments of men. Is it important to God that we obey him the way that he says? Just think about it for a second. If a father were to go on a 50th anniversary vacation with his wife, and he told his son who worked for him, please plant my tomatoes in this field over here and dig a well over there. And then he goes on his trip he comes home and the son says, Father, I did what you said. I planted your tomatoes and I dug your well. 
but the father sees that the well was dug over there and that the tomatoes were planted over there. The son did what the father said, but not in the way that the father said to do it. So did the son obey? Let's look at the fourth commandment one more time and see how God says to obey. He says to remember the Sabbath day, to keep it holy. And which day is the Sabbath day? The seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord your God.